Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the International Council of Ophthalmology Board and faculty members, the experts behind the scientific program of this Congress. Coming, His Excellency Sheikh Sultan bin Tahnoon Al Nhayyan, Chairman of Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority and Abu Dhabi National Exhibitions Company, to present the patron's welcome address. Your Highness Sheikh Hamid bin Zayed Al Nhayyan, Chairman of the Crown Prince Court. Your Royal Highness, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is great pleasure to welcome you to Abu Dhabi. Our journey in coming together here at Adnik has been almost four years in the making. We first began planning our bid for this Congress in 2008. The wait, I hope, will prove worthwhile for all of us. We want immediately to express our thanks to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces, for his patronage of this Congress. Eyesight is one of God's most precious gifts. We have nothing but admiration for the work you do in preventing blindness, often curing it, treating vision defects, and ultimately improving people's life, we salute you all. This Congress is a milestone for Abu Dhabi. It is the largest, largest gathering of its type to, to be held here. Many, many key stake, stakeholders have worked together to try and ensure you have a very pleasant stay and productive one. I thank them all. Our particular thanks go to the Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology, to its chairman, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed Al Saud. Its President, Dr. Abdul Aziz Al Rajhi, and the International Council of Ophthalmology, and its President, Dr. Bruce Spivey, for confidence they showed in selecting Abu Dhabi as this Congress venue. We hope we have lived up to your expectations. Over the next few days, you will all debate issues of great importance to ophthalmology, and many new developments in your field will be showcased and explored. 
with this Congress will leave a legacy not just for Abu Dhabi, but for the medical profession and indeed for all mankind. I wish you all a very successful Congress. Thank you for joining us here in Abu Dhabi. And I hope to be able to welcome you back again in the future. Thank you very much. I now invite the chairman of the Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology, His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, to present the welcome address. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Sahab Smo Sheikh Hamad. اسمه الشيخ حامد بن زايد النيان رئيس ديوان ولي عهد أبو ظبي الشيخ سلطان طحنون رئيس هيئة السياحة والثقافة أبو ظبي أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها الحفل الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لم دواعي سروري أن أكون ممثلا لمجلس الشرق الأوسط الأفريقي للتحدث لدي لكم في هذا اليوم من أبو ظبي عاصمة دولة الإمارات ونحن نحتفل بافتتاح الاجتماع العالمي للمجلس 2012 للمجلس العالمي لطب العيون الذي أعطى منطقة الشرق الأوسط استضافة مؤتمر هذا لهذا العام والمؤتمرات المتميزة ولأكثر من 150 عاماً والله الحمد تم اختيار منطقتنا أن تكون ممثلة لهذا العام للدورة الثالثة وثلاثين للمجلس إن مجلس الشرق الأوسط وأفريقيا لطب العيون والذي يمثل الشرق الأوسط وأفريقيا بالإضافة إلى تركيا وإيران يضم في أكثر من خمسة عشر ألف وخمسمية عضو بالإضافة إلى ثلاثين أكثر من ثلاثين جمعية طب عيون وطنية وأنه أحد أربع الجمعيات إقليمية معترفا بها دوليا وقد حقق نجاحات كبيرة بتنظيم مؤتمرات علمية متميزة فكان في شهر أكتوبر من 2010 تنظيم المؤتمر لأول مرة مع الجمعية مع الأكاديمية الأمريكية لطب العيون IIAO في شيكاغو ولايات المتحدة الأمريكية وهذا لأول مرة تقوم تنظيم الأمريكا لك الأكاديمية الأمريكية مؤتمر مع جهة أخرى كما تم تنظيم مؤتمر في البحرين في 2009 بالمشاركة في مجلس العالمي لطب العيون ICO بالإضافة إلى الأكاديمية الأمريكية AAO وكان في أكثر من ثلاثة آلاف مشارك وأن هذه النجاحات جعلت مجلس الشرق الأوسط الأفريقي مياكو قادرا على تنظيم مثل هذا المؤتمر والذي يحظى عدد كبير تجاوز الأكثر من عشرة آلاف مشارك من أكثر من 136 دولة بالإضافة العديد من المهتمين بطب وجراحة العيون إن هذا الاجتماع يحظى على كثير من من الأمور العلمية والمتعلقة بتطوير طب وجراحة العيون من الأبحاث والإجراءات والمعدات التي يشتمل فيها المعرض المصاحب بالإضافة إلى الأدوية وغيرها كما أننا في هذا المؤتمر هناك صاحبة جدول اجتماعي في المساء لتعريف المشاركين والموجودين بما يوجد في دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة وأبو ظبي بشكل خاص من إمكانيات جيدة سياحية وغيرها كما أننا نأمل أن يكون هذا المؤتمر نافعا للجميع في حياتهم العلمية والعملية وأن يكون فرصة للتدريب والتأهيل للأطباء والطبيبات ولا يسعني في هذا المكان إلا أن أقدم خالص الشكر والتقدير لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة ورأسها سمو الشيخ خليفة بن زايد آل نهيان رئيس الدولة وأيضا سمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم نائب رئيس الدولة ورئيس الوزراء حاكم دبي والشكر موصول إلى صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد الفريق أول محمد بن زايد آل نهيان ولي عهد أبو ظبي وراعي مؤتمرنا هذا ونائب القائد على القوات المسلحة 
كما ود نوجه الشكر للشيخ سلطان بن طحنون رئيس هيئه السياحه والثقافه على الجهد الذي بذله شخصيا منذ اربع سنوات وحتى الان في المسانده والاعداد لهذا المؤتمر ليظهر بالشكل اللائق كما اود ان اشكر كل المتحدثين والمشاركين الدوليين والاقليميين والمحليين واوجه شكرا ايضا للاخوه والاخوات المنظمين لهذا المؤتمر على الجهد الذي بذلوه طيال اربع سنوات ماضيه وايضا لما يبذلونه في التحضير والتهيئه وتجل هذا المؤتمر اتمنى للجميع مؤتمرا موفقا ان شاء الله وناجحا ونلتقي دائما على الخير والمحبه في كافه دول الشرق الاوسط وشكرا لكم جميعا على حضوركم وتكبد عناء السفر والمشاركه والمساهمه في هذا الاجتماع اتمنى لكم التوفيق في حياتكم العمليه والعلميه وان نلتقي دائما على الخير وشكرا لكم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته The International Council of Ophthalmology represents and serves professional associations of ophthalmologists throughout the world. The Council's route date back to 1857. That's when 150 ophthalmologists from 24 countries met in Brussels for the first World Ophthalmology Congress. To tell us more about the International Council of Ophthalmology, please join me in welcoming its president, Dr. Bruce Pivey. Good morning. Your Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince's Court, Your Royal Highness, Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, Chairman of the Middle East African Council of Ophthalmology, distinguished guests, colleagues, and friends. On behalf of the International Council of Ophthalmology, sponsor of this wonderful conference, I bring you welcome on behalf of the 205,000 ophthalmologists in the world. This is a unique experience as it is the First World Congress in Middle East and Africa. Our hosts, Miyako, have done an outstanding job in creating an environment that is welcoming and conducive to socialization and learning. I want to recognize particularly the Miyako president, Abdul Aziz al Rachi. There are three main reasons that most people attend the World Ophthalmology Congress. These are for the scientific presentations, the collegial opportunities, and last but not least, the opportunity to see a different part of the world. I'm happy to say that I believe we excel in each of these three areas. We have a spectacular scientific program, both in symposia in vital, and in vital presentations as well as free papers. The superb organization of the scientific program has been overseen by Professor Peter Wiedemann. Thank you, Peter. The opportunity for collegial interchange is facilitated by the configuration of this convention center and the fact that there are social opportunities individually and in groups. Finally, the United Arab Emirates and our location of Abu Dhabi provides a superb overall venue to experience the hospitality of the Middle East. I'm very grateful for Akif El Maghrabi who first advanced the idea of holding the con Congress in the Middle East. There are many challenges in the world today and certainly in this last year, we've seen many changes in this part of the world. As ophthalmologists, we are fortunate to have contacts and friends worldwide. And an organization, the International Council of Ophthalmology, which is apolitical and collaborative throughout the world. I am most pleased as president of the International Council of Ophthalmology 
and representing its advisory committee and the Academia Ophthalmologica Internationalis to give you personal greetings on behalf of them and, your hope, and hope that your time here is filled with good science, good and old and new friends, and good experiences. Thank you very much. The International Council of Ophthalmology believes that the efforts of those who contribute to its success are priceless. Every Congress, the Council recognizes three distinguished ophthalmologists for their achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, the BAT Medal is awarded every four years to a distinguished ophthalmologist in recognition of scientific and educational contribution. This year, the award goes to Professor Posario Prancato. The GOH Neumann Award, this is presented by the Board of Trustees to an ophthalmologist who shows leadership in ophthalmology. Society is recognized by the council. The award goes to Professor Shigiki Ono. Tajus Gravij Gold Medal is awarded every four years to an ophthalmologist who has contributed greatly to advances in ophthalmology. This year, it goes to Professor Alan Charles Bird.
16 February 2012. Remember this date. This is the date Abu Dhabi, on behalf of the region, welcomes you all to our home. This is the date you will experience our hospitality and culture. Today, race, religion, or language has no importance, and ophthalmology is the focus. As Thomas Edison once said, there is time for everything, and today is our time. Your Highness, Sheikh Hamid bin Zayed, Chairman of the Court of the Crown Prince, Your Excellency, Sheikh Sultan bin Tahnoon, Chairman of Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority, Your Royal Highness, Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, Chairman of the Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology, Dr. Bruce Pivey, President of the International Council of Ophthalmology, Your Excellencies, friends, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Abdelaziz al Rajhi, President of MIACO and the World Ophthalmology Congress 2012. And on behalf of all of us, I welcome you to WOC 2012. We have been called third world. We have been called underdeveloped. We have been colonized. We have been patronized. Yet the world forgets who we are. We are where it all started. This region is the cradle of civilization, as well as the origin of mankind. It is here that human civilization started 6,000 years ago. This region has seen wars and seen days of glory rich with history that gave us a past we are proud of and a bright future that brings us all here. There are two kinds of men, the ones who make history and the ones who endure it. We are both men. We have made history and now we are enduring it, but we are determined to make history again. Napoleon Bonaparte said, Ten people who speak make more noise than 10,000 who are silent. And we will be silent no more. Today we welcome our colleagues from around the globe, hoping that we all look beyond the differences and focus on the science. And work together to improve the quality of life of our patients. What you will see during this meeting is not a product of financial resources but the product of hard work and dedication of many individuals who work to make sure that you come out of this meeting with great scientific knowledge and a positive cultural experience. This is something that money cannot buy. We are happy that this meeting has brought together 2,200 international speakers, 60 ophthalmic societies that organize more than 415 scientific sessions with a delegate registration up to a week ago of more than 10,000 participants from 136 countries out of 155 or 53 from the globe. As the president of WOC, I would like to convey my gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed for his patronage, to His Highness Sheikh Hamid bin Zayed for honoring us with his presence, His Excellency Sheikh Sultan bin Tahnoon, the Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority, ADNIC, along with the different Abu Dhabi governmental bodies, for believing in Miyako and supporting this meeting. Our gratitude goes to Bruce Pivey and the ICO for believing in our capability in delivering an outstanding Congress, as well as Peter Wiedemann and the scientific program coordinators who did a great job in producing a rich scientific program. We in Miyako have been blessed with visionary leaders. I wish to thank His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud for his unbelievable support, both financially and logistically to Miyako, as well as Dr. Akif Al Maghrabi, who has been a pillar in Miyako's success and progress throughout its history. Soldiers generally win battles. Generals get the credit for them. 
therefore not to be forgotten, are the soldiers who have been working very hard behind the scenes to ensure that you have a memorable experience. The list of people I should thank is very long, but allow me to thank on your behalf Dr. Manal Tarian, Vice President of WOC, Mubarak Al-Mheri, Mohammed Al-Marzoogi, Abdullah bin Sogat, the staff of MIACO, ICO, and of course the staff of ADTA, led by Mubarak and Naimi, ADNIC, Meeting Minds, as well as the staff of other governmental agencies who have worked meticulously to perfect this event to your pleasure. We invite you to experience our region, our city's essence and cultural activities. We hope you don't miss the cultural night tomorrow where you will sample some of the flavors that this region has to offer. I am the greatest. I said that even before I knew I was. By the way, this was a quote by Muhammad Ali Klai. But just like him, if we want to be successful, we have to believe in ourselves and our ability to make a change that's why the spirit of Miyako is the difficult we do immediately. The impossible takes a little longer. Thank you all and marhaba to Abu Dhabi. With the great achievements come recognition and appreciation. The Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology appreciates those who have invested time and efforts in making the council what it is today. The Prince Abdelaziz Ahmed Al Saud Prevention of Blindness Award is presented to an ophthalmologist who has greatly contributed to the prevention of blindness in the developing world. And the award goes to Danielle Etiali. International Award is presented to an international ophthalmologist who has contributed towards advancement and improvements in ophthalmology. The award goes to Robert Tretch. of Ophthalmology Distinction Award is presented to an ophthalmologist from the Middle East and Africa regions who has demonstrated leadership in ophthalmology and training. The award goes to Osama Brahim. As you know, the next WOC 2014 will be in Tokyo, and therefore I invite our next host, the President of WOC 2014, to deliver his welcome note to all of you. Good morning, colleagues and friends. I am Tetsuro Oshika from Japan, the president of the next WC Congress uh, being held in Tokyo from 2nd of April to 6th, 2014. The field of ophthalmology is making the dynamic advances in the Asia Pacific region. And one of our particular goals of the WC 2014 is to showcase these advances in the ophthalmic research and clinical care. 
The early April is a cherry blossom season in Tokyo, which is very special time of the year for us in Japan. I am confident that you will have a wonderful time visiting us, and we look forward to welcoming you with our traditional hospitality and fascinating culture. See you in Tokyo. He has taken the responsibility as the chairman of the board. He has provided guidance, wisdom, and support. The Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology Lifetime Achievement Awards goes to His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud. as its president for 19 years. His motto has always been, either I will find a way or I will make one. Our second Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Dr. Atif Al Maghribi. and Dr. Maghribi, and thank you, Your Highness, Sheikh Hamid, for presenting these honors. Ladies and gentlemen, World Ophthalmology Congress 2012 is now officially open. I'm